the way. Successful Indie Author 5-Minute Focus, Episode 276. Let's talk about the pain of failure. This is when your best effort comes up short, and then you have to ask yourself, what do you do? No way. Slow internet. Turn off the, turn off the camera. <clears throat> when your best effort comes up short, then what do you do? How do you learn from that? How do you move forward? How do you keep moving forward? Uh, when you're dragged down, the reviews, the book just isn't selling, the efforts are not paying off, and you see no future for what you're doing. So you have a choice. You have to make a decision. Learn, <clears throat> keep going, applying what you've learned, or stay down. You have to line your expectations with your potential with what you've done. Uh, you may have more potential than what you put into your your stories because you've you've taken little snippets of time here and there and you've crafted a tale, you've gotten it done, you've reread it and it's pretty good and you get it out there and it doesn't uh, it doesn't do anything. Uh, how do you learn from that? Well, it's either you targeted the wrong audience, it's not getting out where people see it or the book's not good or good for the readership you're trying to sell it to. These are the things you have to wrestle with and learn from. <clears throat> a question you have to ask yourself is what else have you failed at? What else have you looked at and said, hey, I want to do this. I knew, uh, I know I wanted to be a pilot at some point and I, I never did. I wanted to do all kinds of different uh, crazy things until I realized the adrenaline rush wasn't for me. And then, hey, then my life turned a lot better when I wasn't trying to do things that would, uh, would get me killed. So what else have you failed at? And then what did you do after you failed? Did you start over? Did you find something else new and shiny to, to embrace? What you'll find is most writers have always been writers, have always told tales, have always had that spark of telling stories and never really had the spark of, yeah, I want to do this for a living. I don't want to do anything else because those two ideas are pretty far apart. Writing is cool. Writing for a living is a job. You can have a cool job, but it's still a job. You still have to rely on yourself to provide the income to support you and your family. It, it changes the dynamic sometimes so significantly that people can't get their heads wrapped around it and fail, fail spectacularly. <clears throat> so what are you in love with? Are you in love with the idea of writing? Are you in love with the actual writing? Or are you, on, are you in love with the idea of being wildly successful? Once again, those are, those are significantly different loves and ideas. <clears throat> if you want a career, hey, I'm in this, I'm going to write, I'm going to write full time, I'm going to entertain. That's what I want to do. I want to do what I love. Then you have to ask, how hard have you studied to be a professional author, to be not just your craft, not, to, not just to be at the top of your game writing stories and, and telling tales, but the top of your game when it comes to the business side too. And what we found is you don't have to be the best business mind. You just have to do some things that you might not like to do. Marketing, it's not get out there and buy my book. It's about how to approach readers, how to put your work in front of them in such a way that they're enticed to buy it and that they do buy it because they look at it and say, hey, I like this story. It looks great. I'm going to keep reading. So did you hook that page? All of those things that you need to know to turn this love of writing into a business. So how, how hard have you studied the profession of being an author? And if you say, well, I, I just write books, I haven't really studied it hard, but I really want to do this full time. Well, then you need to study that other part, too. It's just like a Ph.D. There's a lot of people who who studied a topic, love it, but they just didn't want to write that dissertation. Guess who's not called doctor? Those people. And if you don't if you don't take it, take control of the business side, then it's going to be extremely difficult for you to be successful. And if you don't want to make money, then keep pitching a uh, trad pub and try to get a traditional contract because as a new author, they're not going to be so enamored of throwing a lot of money at somebody who's untried 
unless your book fits exactly what they're looking for. And that's now you're counting on luck. And uh, luck isn't a good plan. Hope isn't a good plan. Uh, studying hard and understanding the business side of it and mastering those elements along with your craft and delivering a great book to a readership that's hungry for it. That's how you make your own luck. And that's how you, you start realizing greater and greater levels of success. And you can write books that you love. Just need to make sure that they fit with what reader readers expect. <clears throat> and if you think you've done all that and you still can't make any sales, you still can't get where you think you should be, then I, I turn to Star Trek. Sometimes you can do nothing wrong and still lose. And this is the, the pain of failure. What do you do next? Do you just say, hey, I, I'm just going to keep writing as a hobby or I'm going to keep trying new and new things and better things and different things and seeing where I got where I've been going wrong and why this isn't resonating. Uh, I, I talked to a science fiction author, a, a local one who who writes and writes well, but the the genre is just not a direct hit for any readers. And I couldn't help him at all in finding readership for his books. So uh, six books later, he's uh, not making what he could had he written different stories. And that's a, that's a business decision every bit as much as I want to write what I want to write. So understand long term that that might lead to failure saying I want to write what I want to write <clears throat> with no regard for what the readership is going to read or how to market that once you're done writing it. It's a significant investment in your time of your time. Just understand that. Final note, never lose your love of writing, but it's OK to not be in love with making it a career. If you're in love with making it a career, well, then you've got to do a lot of different things for your professional development and become a professional so you can make it a career because career, that's a profession. And if you're doing it from uh, with your writing, then you need to study the business side every bit as much as the craft side and which the business side is then about the readership, the marketing and all that stuff you have to do to get your great book into the right reader's hands. So that's it. The pain of failure. Learn from it. Keep moving forward and make that hard decision. Is this for me? And I'm, am I ready to do everything I need to do? And no, not prostitute yourself, not pole dance to make money to pay up for your covers. No, not any of that. But are you are you willing to do the stuff you don't like, like sending a newsletter or jumping on social media? All right. This is a long one, but this is a hard topic. Pain of failure. Uh, please make the make the hard decisions. Get inside your own mind and make the right decision for you and your family. Peace, fellow humans.